iPhone 7 leaks suggest that antenna lines are here to stay. Charadons reveal that Samsung is making a little less money than Apple on phones, and deals on the Google Nexus 6P just gave the phone a new life. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, believe it or not, we haven't only lost an hour here on the East Coast, but the sun just decided to hate Mondays as well. This is Pocket Now Daily. Believe it or not, Monday is full of deals, and uh, we start with some of the hottest phones. The Google Nexus 6P is right now on sale on both Google, Best Buy, and B&H for $425 on the 32 gig variant, which is a major, major discount. But then again, if you're interested in spending a little less money, the Nexus 5X is also available for just $340. And some of these retailers are even giving out a case if you buy the phone, which is just making it even better. And while you're at it, hey, if you're stopping by Best Buy or Amazon or even Motorola.com, you have the advantage that the Moto X Pure Edition is currently also on sale $100 off. Yeah, I know, just $300 for this phone is a crazy deal, but uh, there is a catch. It only lasts for three days, so hit the link in the description to learn more of the limitations. And since we are talking about money, it's very interesting to learn which company is making more money per phone right now. Yes, Apple is the king of that, but then when it comes to the Android space, oddly, it is not Samsung. Believe it or not, it is Sony at $26 per phone when compared to Samsung at 23. But obviously, if you do the math over which company sells the most phones, it is clear that Samsung is taking a lot more money into its bottom line, but yeah. 26 to 23, that's a very interesting figure. And since we're talking about numbers, we also saw some teardowns of the Galaxy S7 today. And uh, believe it or not, it cost Samsung $237 to build each Galaxy S7 compared to Apple, which is only spending 212. Now, yes, this is only manufacturing costs. It doesn't include marketing, distribution, overhead, everything. But it is just crazy to know that $500 is being either spent in something else or we're just being ripped off, aren't we? And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the iPhone 7. We get some leak renders and learn two very interesting things about the possible device to come. First of all, the antenna lines are here to stay. Apple is just apparently rerouting them through the corners of the phone, but they're still there. And uh, we also notice that the cutout for the camera is getting larger, which could mean that we are getting a larger camera sensor, or it could just mean that this is a design choice. Anyways, regardless of the case, we would love to know in the comments down below, what do you think about this design for the iPhone 7? Do you consider it to be worthy of all the money you're paying for it? In my case, after the LG G5 where the antenna lines are gone, I don't, but we'd love to know your opinion in the comments down below. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get these news earlier before the video was filmed. Follow us on pocketout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also follow us on Vessel at Vessel.com slash pocketnow and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.